Hey, welcome back to my channel. Just going to take a real quick look at this. Having an issue, okay? Basically, we're flying the quadcopter. If you run your battery down too far, is what I'm finding, the EEPROM will reset. So this thing will actually reset to its original manufacturer settings. So you're going to lose your bind. You're going to lose your modes tabs. All, all the settings that you put into Betaflight are, are going to wipe out. So happy model. If you see this video, uh, you know, we, we got to figure something out because basically if that happens to you, you're going to need your laptop or you're going to need your speedy B dongle, which I don't have. I wish I did, but basically you're going to have to have a way to, to reload your dump file. Okay. Or you're going to have to completely reset the thing from brand new is basically what's going to happen. And it's happened to me twice. It's happened to a guy I raced with and it happened to a couple of my subscribers. So it's an obvious issue. I've been kind of researching around seeing if there was a fix or if there was a updated firmware or something to, to this point when this film was made. There wasn't one. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take our laptop with us every time we fly it until this is figured out. So I cannot, at this point, I can't recommend this quadcopter. I like it. I think it's super fun. It's an amazing amount of technology that's gone into this board. I mean, I mean, look at it. It's, it's literally just a board and a camera. So your ESC, your flight controller, your receiver, your VTX, like all of it is into that board and i mean i was really stoked this thing was was ripping around 25,000 kv motors like so much fun but unfortunately i like to just kind of grab a, a small bag and, and go over to the park and just rip the playground you know all 24 batteries you know just just to blow off some steam i don't really want to have to take my laptop with me now if you don't know how to do a, a, a dump file I'll jump over here to Betaflight real quick and just show you where you can save that information. And that way you just load your dump file back on and you're, you're back in business. Bind it up and go. So let's jump over to Betaflight real quick. All right, so here we are at Betaflight. So you're going to go ahead and plug in your quadcopter. Make sure you got a COM port up here. And then after you've done all your settings, okay, you've, you've done everything that needs done. Okay, I have a video on setting up the Q, QX7, the Tran, Tranus QX7. I have a video of the Jumper T16. So go check those out if you don't know how to set up the Mobula yourself. Um, but if you need to go into beta flight and then do all the settings that you need to do, save everything, and then go to CLI, and then you're going to type in dump, D-U-M-P, and then hit enter. Okay, all of, all of the settings that you have in this quadcopter, all the changes you made, everything that you've done to it is in this dump file. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to grab that entire dump file all the way up. And then you're going to copy to clipboard. And then you're going to save that somewhere. I, I use a Microsoft Note and I just paste it in there. So if that ever happens to you, you can just go in here, you know, go into your note file and then bring it over and paste it in here and then type S-A-V-E. So type in save and then and then hit enter. And it'll it'll load all that for you. Then you just unplug bind and fly. So I don't know what's going on, you know, if 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 I haven't heard anything yet, if Happy Model is gonna, you know, come out with a fix on this or or what. But if you're using other people's dump file, you're gonna you're gonna have to change possibly gonna have to change your modes and, and settings in your receivers tab um, so like in receivers tab somebody else's settings might not be the same as yours so just keep that in mind but yeah this is quite an annoying issue but that's basically what you got to do all right so that's kind of kind of how it's done so I, i'm sorry i don't want to make this video too long but it's really it's really aggravating i've not had a single i mean all of the quadcopters i've owned uh lost what i've never had any of them do that where it just resets back to factory settings for for just running down the battery a little too low but yeah Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and checking this out. If this helped out some of your questions, you know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If not, you know, if you hated it, give me a thumbs down. It all works. But enjoy the breeze. Have a good one.